uh, sooner or later they're going to have to uh, come out of college and uh, live with the reality of life and making a living and doing these types of things. There's enough kids in the millennial that have now come out of the colleges. How are they faring? What are they doing? I mean, they're faring poorly. They're, they're, they're shocked. I mean, they're, they're kids who are now suing their colleges. This is an actual lawsuit. Suing their colleges because they're saying, I was promised a job. I was promised an income after I come out of here. Right? The, the, the Occupy Wall Street movement was all disenchanted college kids who, who got out after that lesbian dance theory major and thought they were going to make six figures somewhere. And it turns out nobody pays to watch people theorize about lesbian dance. So, you know, the, so, the, this is, so they end up, you know, going and living in tents in, in Central Park and pooping on themselves. So it's, so it's you know, it's, life is a rough teacher. What the left has tried to do is extend kind of the period of adolescence indefinitely. Right, so now you're, now you're 26 and you're on your parents' health care. Okay, by, by age 26, I'd been married for a couple of years, and I was two years away from having a kid, and I, you know, and I, and I already had two degrees and four published books. You know, it turns, and by the way, that, I'm, I'm, that, that's actually, I'm not even a success story if you go back 50 years. Right? 50 years by the age of 26, you were supposed to be fully ensconced in your job. You were supposed to have like three kids by that point. What we've done is prolonged adolescence indefinitely. And so what Obama's goal is, what the left's goal is, what Bernie Sanders, Hillary, they have the same goal. And the same goal is to extend college out. Right? College is not a place that's kind of a break from reality. College is the new reality. So we have to make all of human life like college. And this is what they think Europe is, which is why Europe's is collapse. It's, Europe is going to collapse. And it's being invaded by foreign forces, and they're going, the barbarians are at the gates. And Europe is going to fall apart, and it is falling apart. So we can play this game, but it's not going to end well. Uh, so, and the problem is that because the education is so poor, instead of reacting against their teachers at college who told them everything was going to be hunky-dory, instead, instead of having the kind of all quiet on the Western Front moment, you know, where the, where the former student goes back to his classroom after World War I, he's in the middle of World War I, he goes back and he yells at his professor and he says, you're telling all these kids the wrong thing, you're telling them that war is awesome. Instead of them going back and yelling at their professors, they say, no, it just shows my professor was right because society is unjust. Right? The lack of my $100,000 salary, that's because society is mean, and so we have to transform the society. And, the, and that's why young people, again, 40% back speech codes in American life. This is why I think the last poll was nearing or over 40% of young people are okay with socialism, like the actual socialism, because they don't know anything. They've been taught stupidity. And how they feel is all that matters. I mean, there's a, there's a video that's going around the internet getting all sorts of play about income inequality. Income inequality is the stupidest issue. Income inequality means nothing, right? I mean, I'm, I have a lot of income inequality with Bill Gates, but I'm doing pretty well, and I don't care that Bill Gates is doing really well. The only thing we should all care about is that there are poor people. We should figure out how poor people can do better, not how to make Bill Gates less rich. But, what, but th this video is going around and saying, Here's a poll of what Americans think the wealth distribution should look like, and here is what the wealth distribution actually looks like. And I watched this video in bewilderment, and young people love it. And I'm, I watched this video in bewilderment saying, who told you that you get to tell the universe how wealth is distributed? Right? Who told you that you have a moral say as to how wealth is distributed? It's immoral, it's evil, it's wrong. You're going to have to steal people's labor from them. But people are not told this, and so they think that their own subjective vision of what reality should look like should govern what reality actually looks like. And it's only later, after 80 years of communist failure, that they realize, oh, that, and, and hundreds of millions of people dead, that they realize, oh, that was a bad idea. Hey guys, it's Jacob Honeycutt. We're live on Facebook with a Trump supporter, or sorry, Trump supporter and a Trump <laughs> hater. Oh, that's right, because we don't belong in our, we don't have a right to defend our borders. You lock your doors at night? Well, why do you do that? You should open your doors at night. I, I, would come in and sleep on your, I don't care. I would like to come into your house and sleep on your couch. Sir, what I would I'm like to get some food out of your fridge. Can you please leave your door open Absolutely. tonight? Absolutely. You will? Absolutely. Can you give me your address so Just I can get some food? I might be hungry. For I, I, I am. I, I am unemployed. I am an unemployed veteran. I would love some free food. Absolutely. I would love a place to sleep tonight. What would you like? I'll just give you your address. Right. You gotta, you gotta, my address. Sir. Why not? Because I but don't you can lock your doors. I don't know you. Well, then you don't know Mexicans that are coming across the border with drugs and stuff like that. So, but we can trust that. them. 
I'm not denying that. So you have no valid point whatsoever. What else has he preached about hate? When has he ever said I hate you? No? Nothing? Silence is good. I'm not gonna argue with someone. It's not arguing. I'm not gonna change debating. your opinion. So you have your ideas and I have I am my not ideas. going to change your in opinion. In a free sir. society, I can spot off my ideas and you can come back to I am yours. not so going to change your opinion, sir. Exactly. So I'm trying to figure out where he is, where to take me. What's he said to take me? I am not trying to change your opinion, sir. You're right. never going to. I'm just trying to figure out why you think he's I am not trying to change your opinion. Is that your go-to, Brian? That's just it? I am not trying to change your opinion. That's you are fine. entitled to I'm believe in what you would yours. like to. You can be hateful all you want. I'm just trying to you figure out why. You are entitled to uh, believe in what you want. I... That's not. I'm just trying to figure out. I didn't even say who I was voting for. Not once. I have been standing out here for two hours, and not once have I said who I was voting for. I didn't. I know that. I can tell that. I'm just asking what what Trump has said that's hateful. There are a lot of things that he said. That's Give two Trump examples. A vote for hate. I'm just wondering why you're trying to change our votes. Because he's a racist. How is he racist? When has he ever said anything like that? The KKK endorses. What if I told you there's a picture? Hey, take a take a look at this guy. We got a bus driving by that says Trump hates. Are you with him? What if I told you the KKK was formed by the Democratic Party to stop Republicans? I don't disagree with you. Oh yes, I never said Trump endorses the KKK. Democratic Party. So so what has he said? I'm saying that Donald Trump stands for hate. Okay, that's what you say, but can you prove it with facts? No? Look at the news headlines. The sky is perfect. <laughs> Look at the news headlines. Look at, oh, right. I should believe Look the Look at every media. single thing. The left, the left. Okay, I agree with you on that one. I'll at least agree with you on that one. Wow. Have you ever seen, uh, you know who Tyler Durden is? Well, this conversation is over. Have a good night, okay? Hey, you know, have a good night. Be safe. Can you tell live on Facebook why you don't support Donald Trump? Because he's a racist. Can you give two examples of why Donald Trump is a racist? Zero. <laughs> All right, those of you who are watching, we are live downtown at the Trump rally. <laughs> there are thousands of people in line to see Donald. We've seen quite a few protesters. As we get closer to the Midland Theater, we're going to see a lot more. As we hear, there are many in front of the theater, so we're going to go uh, see that as soon as the line starts to move. I'm Jacob Honeycutt. We'll be back soon. USA! USA! 
Two down. You guys are two down. <laughs> oh, the oh, 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 Hello everyone! Hey, I'm just stopping by to remind you that liberals are insane! <laughs> Social justice warriors are becoming more violent and triggered than ever before! Anyways, be sure to subscribe to KGP TV on YouTube and have a blessed day. Yeah, man. Epic. First thing in the description. Thank you. Let's go on with the video. But, uh, sooner or later, they're going to have to uh, come out of college and uh, live with the reality of life and making a living and doing these types of things. There's enough kids in the millennial that have now come out of the colleges. How are they faring? What are they doing? I mean, they're faring poorly. They, they, they're shocked. I mean, they're, they're kids who are now suing their colleges. This is an actual lawsuit. Suing their colleges. Before this video starts, I'd just like to make an announcement. I have the Liberal Tears mug uh, for $14.99 on my website. It is the first link in the description if you want to go pick one up. Um, don't worry if it breaks when it comes to your house. I'll send you another one for free out of my pocket. I don't care. I want you to get your Liberal Tear mug. Uh, it comes in uh, Liberal Tears white with the face, black with the face, white without the face, and black without the face. So pick whichever one you want, and it'll come to your door uh, in about three to five days. So that should be three kids by that point. What we've done is prolonged adolescence indefinitely. And so what Obama's goal is, what the left's goal is, what Bernie Sanders, Hillary, they have the same goal. And the same goal is to extend college out. Right? College is not a place that's kind of a break from reality. College is the new reality. So we have to make all of human life like college. And this is what they think Europe is, which is why Europe's is collapse. It's, Europe is going to collapse. And it's being invaded by foreign forces, and they're going, the barbarians are at the gates. And Europe is going to fall apart. And it is because they're saying, I was promised a job. I was promised an income after I come out of here. Right? The, the, the Occupy Wall Street movement was all disenchanted college kids who, who got out after that lesbian dance theory major and thought they were going to make six figures somewhere. And it turns out nobody pays to watch people theorize about lesbian dance. So, you know, the, so, the, this is, so they end up you know, going and living in tents in, in Central Park and pooping on themselves. So, it's, so it's, you know, it's, life is a rough teacher. What the left has tried to do is extend kind of the period of adolescence indefinitely. Right, so now you're, now you're 26 and you're on your parents' health care. Okay, by, by age 26, I'd been married for a couple of years, and I was two years away from having a kid, and I, you know, and I, and I already had two degrees and four published books. You know, it turns, and by the way, that, I'm, I'm, that, that's actually, I'm not even a success story if you go back 50 years. Right? 50 years by the age of 26, you were supposed to be fully ensconced in your job. You were supposed to have a